Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Yeah, I'm so excited. We are in Gilan. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't want to get hit before caviar. Yeah. <laughs> we are in Gilan, the province of Gilan in Iran, right next to the Caspian Sea. And this area is known for Persian caviar, beluga sturgeon caviar. It's a big fish actually. Awesome. I was so surprised when I, I mean, saw the fish. Mr. So Taster has arranged for us to get an entire sturgeon yeah. and we are going to open it up. We're going to see the entire process. We're going to eat the caviar, which is the best caviar <laughs> in the world. It's almost 40 kilo fish. We just arrived to the place where they farm, where they raise the sturgeons and I'm going to share all of the caviar with you in this video. <laughs> caviar dance party on the way. Uh, I believe that it's a beluga sturgeon. Yes, and it we're is. just a beluga, right? Yes. <sighs> Which is the best. And just getting a first glimpse, this this is the sturgeon. That is huge and it's so graceful. I mean it does look it is prehistoric. It is dinosaur looking. It's actually a fish, um, but even looks like a shark. And it is also known sometimes as a Caspian shark. Yeah. He's Dr. Caviar. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Caviar. Dr. Caviar. Yes. Look at that. This is the caviar. This is to test the caviar. This is the taken for again taking the air and everything to different parts of the bowl. The best processing is taken in Iran mostly. Before yeah, the revolution, sure. we got number one caviar number one of caviar. the world. And the same is the case even nowadays. The tools are ready. Dr. Caviar, surgeon caviar. Onto the stretcher. And now we're moving on to the next room. It's also, I believe, beluga. Maybe it means something with the white, the white stomach. Uh, because I know, I mean, the, the color is black, but then the stomach is white. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nurse, nurse Hamid, <laughs> nurse Hamid. We are all ready. We're set and the long nose. What a fish. That bone structure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, on the scale, it weighs almost six kilos, but he said once you take out a little bit, it's going to be about four kilos of black caviar, and they call it black gold because of its value, because of its just, it's such a delicacy, considered a delicacy around the entire world. That entire pan of fresh caviar then goes to the next room in that tray to where they're going to process it, where they'll probably clean it, will, where they'll salt cure it. Um, and that process only takes about 30 minutes, they said, so we're just walking over to the next room. Keep it sterile and clean. <laughs> <laughs> Your glasses all fogged up. <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> Oh, 
بعضی ها خام هم استفاده میکنن Now begins the very delicate process of processing the caviar Each egg, each piece of caviar um, becomes individualized and then takes off that like, I don't know if it's a membrane or the, the piece that holds it all together. All right, one does it. So important because every little bead is so important, is so crucial, is so valuable. It's not cooked. <laughs> it's not ready yet, but okay. we're gonna try it. <laughs> so it hasn't been salted yet. I don't think I've ever had black caviar like this. Um, unsalted. Yeah, unsalted. I've never had unsalted yeah. because whenever you get it in the packaged, it's always salted yeah, already. Salted. Right? It's yeah, always salted. It's always salted. My first serve is that. Only one bit. Mm. Yeah, I got a few left on my. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? <laughs> I've never wanted to lick a rubber glove so much in my life. <laughs> it's so good. It's incredible because it's not flavored at all with salt, so you just taste the pure thing. It almost, it's really the texture. The yeah, texture is, is yeah. unbelievable. Like <laughs> silky, silky beads <laughs> that just gently disintegrate on your tongue with a slight fishiness, with a slight cheesiness almost. Yeah, and I think we are the luckiest people in the world now, yeah. right now. Without a doubt. Yeah, without wow. a doubt. <laughs> wow. And then he was just telling us that the Persian caviar, it can sell for anywhere from $1,000 to $40,000 per kilo. They're gonna start the salting. To take out the water and then also to to take out the air as well and that salinity um, to like embed into each egg into the entire caviar tin. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now time for the salted version. Yeah. And this has just been salted like moments ago, immediately. Wow. It works so fast too. All right. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the real taste of stuff from it. Wow. Caviar. Yeah. Okay, that salting process though, it just enhances the flavor. Yeah. Just like elevates it to new levels. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. The freshness, the cheesiness. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking for you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> immediately salted and immediately packaged. I just right? seal it. <laughs> An entire cake of caviar. That's the most beautiful birthday cake I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. <laughs> so good. Dr. Caviar just informed us this is the best quality, top grade. And he even you can almost like play with that texture. It's just like perfectly stuck together. It's so even, so perfect. Wow. Wow. That was just fascinating and just to see them work in that entire process and once they started salting the caviar, just their laser focus because they have to do the process so fast to take out the water, to take out the air. So the caviar processing is finished. We're back in the sturgeon room now and he's gonna uh, cut up the sturgeon which will then be eaten and actually we're gonna take a piece of the sturgeon to eat later tonight. I guess they also have some crabs here, so we're gonna go see some of the crabs that they have here. So I think it's more like uh, crayfish, crayfish from the wetlands here, near to the Caspian Sea. Okay. <laughs> Always happening with Master Tasting. <laughs> it's impressive. How is it? <laughs> it's good. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. So step into the office here at the the caviar factory, and they have boiled up some of the some of the fresh crayfish. Check it. Fresh, fresh boiled crayfish. Mm. Oh, the juiciness of that. Mm. Oh. oh wow! It's baby one. <laughs> this is the best. Best tea break ever. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So fresh and salty and delicious and sweet. Look at all that roe in there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's delicious too, with the little beads again. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cheese and that's eggs with. Hearts with caviar on top is black caviar. Mm. That's wonderful. Caviar. Oh wow. Try it. It's a spoonful. So unbelievably delicate. That texture, that saltiness. <laughs> Iranian Caspian beluga caviar. That's just it's unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> when we uh, when I came in down to the hotel this morning, then she was at the hotel. She cooked for us yeah. last night. She brought us food in the morning. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so food. much. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's pizza rasami, which is aubergine and garlic. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Father. Cooking for you from two in the morning. The greatest gift ever. Her hospitality. <laughs> she handed us food at the hotel. For the June. For June. Garlic chicken. Yeah. And that was you could like we brought it. We Sir brought idea. it in the van, and you could just smell the garlic shoots. Yeah. Sir oh, means. Man. Sir means garlic, and they call it sir galie. Uh, this is the oh, uh, aubergine. Yeah, we call it. Um, <laughs> Meza Rasami. <laughs> Meza Rasami. Meza Rasami, yeah. Smell the garlic. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's insane. <laughs> the creamy silkiness of it. It's actually like rich too. Nadarime means we don't have <laughs> like this. But you forgot I'm no I'm not. As soon as I dish that out onto the plate, you can smell the garlickiness of it. That's all garlic shoots, garlic, garlic sprouts, garlic you can shoots. Can see lentils, some vegetable in it. Oh yeah, garlic. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's garlicky, but in multiple dimensions, not just yeah. straight harsh garlic. Mm. It's so fragrant garlic. Mm. It's really good. It's awesome. I love the taste of the garlic in it as well. Mm -hmm. mm. There's not enough bones. Beef. Beef? Oh. What's on beef? Gamaji kebab. Gamaji kebab. Gamaji. Ah, so gamaji kebab. Kebab, yeah. You smell like the spice in there, like cardamom-y. Yeah. You smell cardamom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That tartness, the sour, yeah, that's the, the pomegranate, pomegranate paste, right? Pomegranate paste, yeah. And then you taste like a clove cardamom taste to it as well. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Amazing. Insanely good home-cooked food. Shah Banu Rezaei. Shah Banu Rezaei. Yeah, the She's the one who brought us the food. Thank you so much. That food was amazing. This is the estrogen for you. Wow. <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> Tonight's kebab. So we've come to the end of the caviar experience, but we're still going to be eating the sturgeon and yeah. kebabs. A special kebab tonight. Douche kebab, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> More on that later, but we just want to say a huge thank you to Bahu Caviar and also to Gasser Setare. Setare. Yeah, Gasser Setare, the agency that managed the whole trip. Awesome. Thank you so much. And the way, yes, thank you so much for hosting us, for having us, for putting on an amazing caviar display, a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank Merci. you to everybody. Merci. 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 Loaded into the van, and we're on our way next to the Caspian Sea. We're gonna go, we're just like a couple kilometers from the sea. We're gonna go take a look at the Caspian Sea. Yeah, we're on our way there now. Oh, Micah, can, can you warm me up? Can you warm me up, Micah? Ooh. Oh, we're just walking the beach and the whole bank of the Caspian Sea here. And just the color of that sand, it almost looks like it's sand, but it's so dark. Oh, there it is. That's my first, my first touch ever of the Caspian Sea. That way you'll get to Azerbaijan, to Russia, to Kazakhstan, and to Turkmenistan. But it's the, the Caspian Sea, it's so rich in natural resources, in seafood. And the salinity, I believe, is a third of, about a third of the ocean. So it's actually, I believe it's a lake, actually, one of the world's largest lakes. Um, but it's slightly saline water. It's just beautiful, though. With the, the contrast of the dark sand, the dark colored sand, the water, the peacefulness, the just massive bank of sand. So cool to be here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we need to grill it. Awesome. Oh, look at that. 
After spending a little bit of time in the afternoon at the Caspian Sea, then we had a little break in the afternoon in the evening, and now we're out again for dinner. We're on our way to a restaurant uh, for a specific type of kebab, as well as we're gonna cook up that sturgeon that we brought with us. Just walking into this intersection, you could just see the smoke billowing up from this entire intersection. The aroma of grilling meats is just filling the air. No, this is the bakery. Oh, that's the bakery? Yeah. And then the meat? They've got sangak. No, no, no. no. And that's bread. The Oh, that's the meat that's is coming meat, from yeah. there. Salam. <laughs> Salam. Salam. Oh, how about you? Thailand. Thailand. Bangkok. Barbary bread. Yeah. Barbary. Barbary. So this is a special type of bread, and so what they do is they take the dough, they they pat it out, and then they use they add this like. This mixture of fereni, I'm not totally sure what it is, but it's not sweet, it's kind of like oily. They put that onto the bread, and then they, using their fingers, make these indents into the bread, and then put it onto the oven, which is a rotating oven, and to make these huge, flat breads. This is a whole neighborhood bread factory, but everybody, you can see everybody coming here from the whole neighborhood, coming to buy their bread. They're making two different types of bread. One is that one that we saw over there. This one is the lavash, which is the, the very thin, very thin bread, and it's just coming off like one by one. It's rolled out by the machine. He slaps it onto an oven, which just rotates, and I think it's just like straight up one rotation, and it's cooked. Seen such an automated and like such a like cool machine bread store in my life. Just everything, just kind of cranking out dough, cranking out different types of bread. And this one just goes from up here. The batter of the dough is is up here, and then it just squeezes out onto this like conveyor belt that just kind of like rotates the ball into a perfect lump of dough to then go into the oven. It's amazing. And just like the clunky old machines, I love it. Just the rotating wheels, the conveyor belts. Very cool bread factory. You don't want to underestimate the importance of bread in Iran. This one got some sesame okay. on it. It is more delicious and a little more expensive. Ah, okay. And this one is a plain one without sesame. Wow. That is just wonderful. With the sesame seeds, freshly baked, hot and fresh. That is the perfect density. It's fluffy and crunchy at the same time. Yeah, that's just a daily bread right there. It's like a snowboard. Bread snoboards. Oh, thank you. Oh, and a whole bag of bread to go. And then directly across from the bread store, the bread factory, is the kebab shop where we are going for dinner tonight. And we're immediately just walking directly into the kitchen. Salam, salam. Salam. Hello. Salam. <laughs> Welcome. Salam. <laughs> Salam. 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 Here, this is like a corner kebab shop just filled with meat. He's chopping up the fresh meat. The entire fridge is loaded with skewers with kebabs ready to be grilled. They're grilling in the front. There's a line of people like waiting for their order and they just brought out the main pan that we're looking for, the main meat that we came here to eat. It's the bull hump. This is fine. Onion butter, uh, pepper, and salt. 
Okay. Pikachu? Yeah. Tabaco, filtered. Yeah. Filtered, filtered, filtered. And uh, red pepper as well. And now they've brought out the sturgeon that we brought with us. They're gonna make those into kebabs for us tonight. Expertly slicing it up into perfect pieces for kebabs and then you had to take out like that kind of grizzle because sturgeon has a lot of kind of like cartilagey bits I believe. Sliced up all the sturgeon into cubes. Zafran. Process, but onion juice was in the. That was not Sprite they were adding. That's onion juice. <laughs> Curing up the sturgeon and they also made a sauce with tomato paste with some oil with some I think some onion juice as well. <laughs> oh my god. I already fell in love. <laughs> They keep the fire back here just raging hot. Oh man, I feel my face like almost peeling it so hot right here. The meat juices are just overflowing. All of those kebabs right off the grill. They do have some like standing and some table space over there. <laughs> but they have set us up a table right in the kitchen. Actually, where he was cutting the meat. They clean the table, they're putting their kebabs there. Oh, the orange, the sour orange, the beans, the bread, the onions. You ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna put it in the bin. <laughs> sour orange? Yeah. Ooh. And then mix it together. Mix it. Chase that with an onion? Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Wow. That was really hot. <laughs> the beans are really hot. <laughs> oh that combination is incredible though. Like, because you got the starchy beans and then you got the like that hump is so juicy. Yeah. It's so juicy, it's so fatty. <laughs> Like the juice just flows out of your mouth as soon as you bite it, it just like pops with fat. <laughs> oh man. It's my first time, this combination. I never wow. tried it before, yeah. A sour chicken kebab, a sour beef kebab, and a, this is chenje, which is fillet, and this is kubide. So, sour chicken? Yeah, you've got the onion, don't yeah, you? I got it. Yeah, look at Put that. The onion on top? Yeah, you can do that, or you can. Have it Jeez. separately. Yeah. Chicken and beef. Sour kebab is made, made sour with pomegranate paste. With right? barberry bread. Oh, and you can smell the sour aroma. Okay. Mm. Cheers. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's so juicy. And you immediately taste that sourness, but like that fruity pomegranate sourness. It's so good. That is so good, yeah. That is unbelievable. I like the onions with it. Mm -hmm. Sour beef inside. 
Thank you. And I'll give you some onions as well. Next up is the sour beef with yeah. a lot of onion in it, and this is the <laughs> lavash bread. <laughs> it's aroma. <Wow. laughs> mm -hmm. That same sour taste. <laughs> but just beef. Love it. Oh, and the juiciness <laughs> of the onion, too, that makes it. Bacha Samova Amidi. I put some somak on top. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> it's ready to eat. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> it's a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> is that a one biter? Yeah. No. <laughs> for you. Oh. And for me. Next up for the kebab kubide, the minced meat. There's onions in here, there's salt and pepper. This might be the most classic of all. <laughs> and then wrapped up <laughs> with onion. We got the onion ready. Oh, this is. Yeah, okay. Ready? Let's just do it. Mm. Oh, onion. Mm. Mm. Wow. Fuck by the man. Wow. The texture of that. Mm. And this is a kebab that just never gets old. Mm. You can eat it every single day and be happy. Mm. Mm. That's the key point. You can have it every single day, twice a day. I never get bored of it. Mm. Guaranteed. Mm. Well. <laughs> Happy you like it. <laughs> Stunningly good. Oh, do you? Do you? Do Whoa, the carbonation. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> okay, that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Okay. Oh, man. Fresh pickish. So good. It's for you. Oh. <laughs> the whole kebab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> That's the onion. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of good. The final course is going to be the sturgeon, which you just threw on the entire grill is filled with our sturgeon now. Um, and that's probably going to cook pretty fast because that, that fire is just blazing. <laughs> oh, <him. laughs> oh wow. That is unbelievably good. It's it's so juicy, it's salty, and it has that sour taste to it. I think from the orange and the tomato sauce. Wow. It's so unbelievably juicy. Okay. We have a whole platter to devour. Is it okay to eat it right off the skewer? Mm. Wow. <laughs> it's so unbelievably tender. It's sour as well. Yeah. It's because of the sauce. The, 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 the sour orange and the, the sauce that they mm. made, that like tomato. Oh. It's so pure. Mm. And fresh. And this is the, the sturgeon that we had the caviar from yeah. this morning. So fish. <laughs> so good. Okay, for this one, I will grab it with bread. Juices. Um, what a sturgeon party it has been today. 
Yeah, just spectacular. It's sour. <laughs> oh yeah, that is sour. Oh, but that refreshes the mouth. That's delicious. How did you like it? Oh, perfect. It was really fantastic. Something very different. A very specific experience, I think, for everybody. Oh, man. I'm it's very cold. Yes. Very cold, you know. We're this just is rolling. the north of the country, actually. <laughs> and very close to the Caspian. And the wind from the north, from the Especially Siberia. Especially at night, it's cold. Yeah, oh, yeah. So Siberian that's why winds, it's very right? cold, yeah. Siberian winds, and we're just like yeah. rolling. We're rolling out of here now. That really was a sturgeon kebab party inside the kitchen. And all of the kebabs were good, but yeah, nothing beat that sturgeon. And today has all been, been all about that sturgeon. Um, it was a day of learning about the importance of caviar and the value of caviar and the respect that they have for the beluga caviar, the beluga, um, the beluga sturgeon and its importance in the Caspian Sea. It's been an amazing day and again a learning experience. I want to say a huge thank you to Mr. Taster for arranging and to Gasser Setere, the organization that organized my trip. Um, big thank you. And I want to say a big thank you to, you to you for watching this video. If you haven't watched all the videos in this uh, Iran food and travel series, I'll have the link in the description box. You can watch the entire series. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Rasht, and I will see you on the next video.